my battery is about to die. Really? Okay, this video is gonna be good. Today I am joined by a very special guest. This is Jay, Hi. and I'm just gonna let her kind of introduce herself. Hi, I'm Jay. <laughs> really, that's nigga. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, honestly, I'm gonna link her information down below. She has an Instagram, and she also has a clothing website, Athletic um, Wear. Mm -hmm. Right? You should check it out. Yep. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna Follow link. Me. I'm gonna link those down below for you guys. Um, so today we are going to be doing a new segment on my channel today We're going to be doing a kind of girl chat, you know, like this is very spontaneous So yeah, um, yeah so basically we're going to be talking a, a little bit about how to keep a man, you know um, I know for you ladies out there you might be like I don't even have one to keep But honestly you don't have to wait till you have a man to learn how to keep one because if you get one and you lose one. Yeah, <laughs> What's we're the just point, gonna right? help you not lose one, you know? <laughs> Pretty much. So um yeah, let us um, get right into the video. Oh, thank you guys so much for everybody who's been watching my video and those who subscribe. Thank you for um yeah, I think I'm almost at 50 subscribers, which seems like a little bit, That's but, a lot. but baby steps. <laughs> baby steps, right? But like a lot of people have been watching too, so thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Um, and yeah, without further ado, let us just get right into the video. Okay. <laughs> I think we're just gonna go back and forth. Yeah. Um, I'll say you one thing one. and she can comment and then she'll say another one. So I think my biggest thing, and this is just me being very um, on the surface. Let's go. Let's go like from the surface to deep, because you know, guys, they're very much like very physical. My first one is going to be um, basically just making sure that you are. How do I say this? Without <laughs> okay. First of all, disclaimer. Okay, we're. Technically just two strangers on the yeah, internet. Yeah, we're just talking. Yeah, we're just talking. So if you're gonna get offended, um, try to watch the video, but if not, just click out. Cause honestly, there's no point in getting offended. This is just a personal opinion. For me, the first one would have to be if your guy kind of likes your shape the way it is, like five years, 10 years down the line, just try to keep Try to maintain, <laughs> maintain how you look. Because guys are very physical. Let me yeah. can all agree that if a guy comes to talk to you, he's not coming to talk to you <laughs> because Men. he likes your personality. Yeah, he probably likes something about your body or you know something yeah. physical. So you gotta keep it. Nice. You gotta keep it nice looking. And honestly, men are very different. Some men like very skinny girls others like like thick okay yeah. like thick to the max so but what if what if what if he meets you and you're super thick right yeah but then you're like oh, i want to be healthy so you're some way that's not maintaining it that's so no but I, I mean like you should love yourself and i think like a lot of guys would agree that they just like a woman who's comfortable in her skin like he probably he probably likes you the way you look but I think most important if a guy loves you he's gonna just want you to be happy right if losing weight is what you have to do to, to be get happy. to be happy I don't think any guy should be like no stay thick you know stay yeah, thick exactly. and unhealthy you yeah, know that's so true. that's my first one get him excited look a little bit sexy you know try to not <laughs> go from like 150 pounds to like 250 pounds and it's been like two years you know yeah sorry if anybody is offended <laughs> Damn. anyways mine is to be honest I feel like this is big on anybody like female or male do not talk too much you know <laughs> don't talk too much don't nag and that's like for males and females you know how to keep a partner and not just like you know how to keep a man like okay 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 don't talk too much <laughs> don't talk too much yeah okay okay that's i don't know because like don't talk too much. no this is the thing if you have 
legitimate things to talk about. Like you want, like I don't know. As women, I mean, like arguing, not just talking. Okay, okay. Like, don't argue, like. You know something? Just keep quiet sometimes, you know? <laughs> I feel like for the, for most times, like maybe I like I see like TV shows or whatever, or I see videos where guys are like, this is what I hate about girls, like nagging. Yeah. Like, don't be the girl that nags, you know? Yeah. Do not be the girl that nags. I think there's a talk. There's you a know? difference. Yeah, there's a difference between talking and nagging, yeah. and arguing and big being disrespectful. Mm -hmm. So I feel like you need to learn how to speak to a person the way you would want them to speak. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Period. If 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 you know that if somebody talks to you a certain way, you're gonna get upset, he's probably gonna get upset if you talk to him the same way. My whole thing though is like yes, it's not good to nag, but I also believe in picking your battles. Like if something happens, like really think about it. Like, is it really worth it? to start nagging him about, you know? Is it something that you can like leave for another time? You don't have to like talk all the time. Cause the thing about guys is like, even when you're talking, they're, ha they're only half listening most True. of the time. So like, if you talk too much, they just tend to zone out. <laughs> like, yeah, they, they can't hear you. Yeah, if you don't say things all the time, when you actually want have something to say, they're gonna wanna listen cause they're like, she mu this must really bug her because she doesn't normally nag. If she's talking about it, then yeah, like I should probably yeah, I should probably listen. I should probably exactly. listen. Exactly. Yeah. So don't just be opening your mouth anyhow. <laughs> just like relax, you know, keep your cool, speak like a normal person. <laughs> don't be going crazy. Yeah. So yeah, I feel it's like a big thing. I feel no, honestly, like maybe some. I think like my boyfriend's me. very quiet. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> I feel like. I mean, honestly, I'm a very loud person, but I've learned to kind of like adjust my tone and everything. Yeah, because you know? I know I don't know how you do it, it honestly. Because I, you, he is too quiet. Like, that's what I'm saying. For someone he like talks me, to me though, he talk. Yeah, I know, but like, I'm just saying, from someone looking out on the outside, I'm like, does this guy even like I know. say anything? I but know. it's good that he found someone who would. Like, I know. He talk to me. exactly. Like, and he hates. He hates when I. I mean, there's been times because you know it's a struggle when you're a person that talks too much. Yeah. And you're with somebody that's quiet. It's a struggle to balance it. Mm -hmm. But like, you but know, it's all about, about respect. Mm -hmm. So I respect him enough to not yeah piss him off like that. You know, not to not talk this. to him the way I want him to talk to me. Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah, yeah. That's a good one. I like that. Okay. <laughs> so for me, this is my second one, I guess. My second one would be food. <laughs> men, men and food. Uh, it's actually sad. I feel like they love food more than us, to be honest. Sometimes, if you're so like if you're us. the provider or the bringer of food, he's gonna love you and your food. That's, that's a lot of love, right? Men are first physical, but then the next thing is, can you cook though? Like that's the question. <laughs> but like honestly, these days I feel like they don't really care as long as you bring the food, even if you bought it. Just bring okay. the food. Okay, let's just, just chill. Let's just ignore her. Okay, because Nigerian men. Let's just talk about like African men. African oh, men. She's. You're from. Where I'm, are you I'm from? Rwandese. She's from Rwanda. Okay, and like she grew up here. I, I partially. Okay, like kind of. Kind of, yeah. You can, you, she can, you can admit that like here it's different because a lot of it's women different from back home, yeah, from back home. But like, if you're dating a guy who is like straight from Nigeria, like <laughs> you kind of have to adjust. Like you have to learn, how to yeah, a little bit. I'm, they, probably, I'm probably gonna have to learn now. But yeah, how to make a few meals. Right yeah, now. because like Nigerian men don't. I'm not gonna say Nigerian, but African men in general, they don't, they would eat your food even when it tastes bad just because of the fact that you made it. I know for my That's guy, cute. no, for my guy, he doesn't, he doesn't want me to go out and buy food. Like, even if it's something that, like, I spent 15 minutes cooking, he'll rather me cook it than eat out. 
But like, I know some guys who don't who don't give two shits. Like, if you if you should I be swearing? I don't even know. It's okay. I think you can as long okay. as it's not like <laughs> too much. Yeah, but like, I think some guys. It depends on the guy. But the main thing is they just want to feel the way they feel. One of the ways they feel love is when they see food. And, so, and sometimes like the only way they even look at you throughout the day is when you bring yourself with food in your hand and you're like here baby and then they finally they, and they, they feel look. love yeah that's how they feel love <laughs> they, they don't just feel love when you're like dressed sexy and you're like hey let's uh you know what are you up to like bring exactly. come with food and then they will listen uh, yes, exactly. some people might get offended, but no, that is just, times ten. That is just the no BS truth. We're just here spitting truth, okay? Yeah. Sorry Especially if you're gonna go for a, a black man, yeah, an African it, man. If it's know. an African man, yeah, you definitely need to cook. Okay. So what's your next one? Okay. What, what should I say next? I don't know. We can think of it. Like it doesn't matter. It's recording. Okay. What else? Not taking too long, but. Mm -mm, nah, me, I'm, mm -mm. That's a lie. I can never <laughs> promise and tell you I'm not gonna take too long. I see lie. You didn't see that. Look good, I think. Yeah, I mean, who doesn't? Yeah. Don't be crusty. No, I don't wanna say that one. You don't wanna say It's my turn? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what else? Okay. Another one. I really <laughs> feel like. <laughs> this is serious, though, man. I feel like <laughs> you guys should read the five love languages oh okay yeah you were talking yes yeah. okay that's very serious to be honest because if you do you know what your partner appreciates more so like nah i'm not gonna i'm not gonna put my my man's love language out there <laughs> you know you never know no you know anyways know. Yeah, there's like different ones. There's physical touch. You can you can say your acts of service if you want to. Mine is words of affirmation. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I always freak out. Like I freak out about like small things, and he's always like, "It's okay, you'll be fine," you know. Yeah, yeah. So stuff like that. Like you have to know what, you know. Yeah. Gets your boo, you know, or exactly. whatever like bothers him a lot. Yeah. So you can be there to kind of like balance it out, mm -hmm. fix it, you know. Mm -hmm. When yeah. he needs you to, because yeah. we, we need each other, right? Yeah. So. Yeah, I think you're right, because like some men, like they're honestly they're just big teddy bears sometimes. I know they're big babies. Yeah, I know. So honestly, so like some of them are gonna try to act tough, but they do go through things, and you just have to understand. How to help him through it, like where, what he needs you to do. Some yeah, people just, some people exactly. just need you to again, like don't nag, be quiet, like <laughs> just, just let him like work through it. Some people that's just the way they deal with it. Other men need you to like cuddle them or like you know like be just, there like, or listen exactly. or talk, you know exactly, something. exactly. So just like be sensitive to your man. Just like don't always, don't always make him want to have to be like the macho like oh like I'm your protector all the time because again they're, like, yeah they're men and you want like a strong dude or whatever but they go through things like every normal person and you just want to like be sensitive to that you know like for me sometimes it, I just pray like that's just me because like sometimes because <laughs> honestly like that's when he, when he says opposites attract it's so true yeah so like sometimes the way you deal with things is not the way he deals with it and you just don't oh, get the it exact opposite exactly. way like why just learn his lang love language yeah. you know what he needs yeah and when he needs it yeah and yeah you're yeah all, exactly you're gonna be good exactly yeah <laughs> okay my next one about how to keep a man is have interests other interests outside of the relationship true yeah you can't just be oh baby 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 yeah baby, baby, yeah baby, baby, let me follow you baby yeah it, it goes with the whole nagging thing don't yeah. don't like you guys should both have other people that you hang out with outside of your relationship okay yeah, like have friends yeah yeah have you friends be like yeah you know those people that you get in a relationship and, for two years and your friends have not seen you for two years <laughs> and you break up and you start hitting them up yeah like hey what's up your friends where, where are you at where exactly you at? so don't be don't be those people no yeah exactly know? like just because i had to learn this because like I've been in a very long-term relationship so like when I first started I just cut everybody off but it naturally happens though you just you just because there's so 
much to do. You go to school, you go to work, yeah. you come back. You know, it's very hard to balance time. Exactly. But yeah. just to not be like super focused on him. Oh, on that's kind of annoying. Yeah, it is. That that goes with the it's whole annoying. nagging. Like yeah. sometimes because your man loves you, he's not gonna be like, he's gonna I, tell you. <laughs> he's not gonna tell you like, I don't want to see you around today. Like you know, like he's not gonna say that. But just I think like men just like seeing their woman. Um, following their passion, following your dreams, like having other things that you're interested in outside of like your relationship. And sometimes, like, it also helps you guys like keep it interesting in your relationship because then you can bring him in and say, Hey, babe, like, let's go here. Like, I, I have this thing going on tonight, or I have something launching tonight. Can you come and like support me? I think men just, I think a good man wants to see his woman succeed as much as he wants to succeed. Yeah. So when he sees you like, Killing it, you know, like getting your life together and like He'll support you. Yeah, exactly. Be I, behind you and be beside proud you. and beside yeah. you. He's gonna be proud, like to be like, yeah, that's my woman. Yeah, like have other interests outside of your relationship. Don't just like <laughs> ditch your friends. Yeah, don't ditch your friends. <laughs> and if you have, that was your friend. I'm not taking you back. <laughs> I'm not taking. If you, you back. have ditched your friends, like try to beg, <laughs> try to crawl back now. Yeah, it's go not back right now. Honestly, just be like, hey, what you doing Friday night? Yeah, Don't exactly. Go out, you know? Yeah, yeah. Because, mm, yeah, it's that's very true. Yeah, do not teach your friends. <laughs> do not be focused on him. That is annoying. <laughs> Anyways, another thing. Okay, my last one. Yeah. I feel like. <laughs> I don't know what I'm I feel like about. honestly. To be honest, like I know chicks that that totally like depend on a dude, right? To be honest, if I was a guy and I have a girlfriend and she constantly comes to me, oh babe, I wanna do my hair, I wanna oh, do my nails, and I wanna do oh, that's a good one. And you ask for all these things, like bruh. That's what a good one. What's your pride? Who raised you? That's a good one. You know, I feel like you have to be able to do things for yourself so that he knows. You know, at the end of the day, to be honest, you don't need him. Yeah, exactly. You're good all by yourself. Exactly. You want him, not need. So, you oh know, my goodness, you're you preaching. You're independent. Preaching. You know, get your own thing, get your own money, pay your own <laughs> bills, do your own hair. Yes, Lord. <laughs> Show up, looking cute. Yeah. Like, oh, damn. Yeah. Oh. Do not need a man ever. Yeah. Not never in this life. <laughs> I mean, you can no, like him, but you know, it's true, and you know what? It goes, especially. I'm sorry, but like <laughs> us black girls, we need to just step it up. Because Honestly, I like I hear guys saying like, "Are you that kind of girl who would who would ask me to pay for her hair?" Like, to get, it's my hair. Like, it's my hair. Why would you pay for it? Exactly. Like, what what woman? But at the same time, men. What? You need to pay still. You need, you need to pay. You know, like, like if we go out, just because I said I want to be independent, yeah, doesn't mean don't pay. Like all food, all you know. Like, I can pay, but you yeah, know, you still gotta be like, hey, like I want to pay. Like exactly, you, you say it first. You the, know, just because, because you can't be out here claiming man. And, yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, no disrespect, but like. I know, you know, still. Every ma every, every there is a role that everybody plays. I'm sorry, but like we're not both equal. That's why you need a man and he needs you. There's yeah. there's roles for everybody. But like I still appreciate it when when my man is like let me pay for this or do you need this or whatever like I again like my ego is gonna be like hell no I'm an independent woman but it, at the same time like, like, deep like, down, me, right? yeah deep down I'm like oh my goodness he's so cute but exactly. like I would never tell him that <laughs> like, just do it. Mm -mm. yeah no so but like I get your yeah. own bread yes. and then yeah. yeah he needs to know that you don't need him he, yeah, he needs to know that you need to make want. it. Yeah, you need to make it clear to him that you are good on your own. You yes. just want to be with him. Like that needs to be want very to clear. Be with him. Yeah, exactly. want. Yeah, want. <laughs> not need. Okay. Not need. No, yeah. we're I, not needing out here. No, there, we're not. Man, there's some girls who are using guys for like financial gain. Like there is people out there. They they have like a tab of guys. Okay, this guy pays for my hair. This guy. <laughs> Buys me groceries. Like, this one's for the nails. This one is for the this nails. This one's for the ride. Since honestly, this is probably the final car. So like, really, 
really, some women don't really want a man. They want mans, you know? <laughs> Honestly, that's that's disturbing. And it I feel like it all comes down to morals. Like yes. You, yeah. I don't know, man. Like, I, I take great pride in doing my own thing. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I've never, I've never felt, I never understood the whole pain for my hair. Like it never made sense I to know. me. I never it's understood like, it's it. Not his hair. Yeah, like he goes to cut his hair, and I've never once paid for it. Exactly. So why is he paying for my? I, and, and honestly, like Nigerian men, especially, like they're scared of Nigerian women because of that. Like they've had at, at least one experience with a girl where the girl is like, um, I need to get my hair done. I need money, and it's like what? Yeah. Go get your hair done if you can't yeah, cut it. <laughs> Honestly, if you can't be bold, you know? It's trending. <laughs> Honestly. Bold is beautiful. <laughs> yeah, bold and beautiful. But yeah. honestly, get your own thing, do your own thing, yeah. you know? And yeah. And do not be acting like you need you need Exactly. Him. No. Yeah. You that's know. a that's a good one. That's and then when you're good. married, you know, still do your own thing. Yes, like, yes. Get that money. Be whatever yeah. you want to be. You know. Yeah. Have your own life going. So you never want to be like out on your butt and like the man is like, screw you. I've been supporting you for <laughs> yeah <laughs> for 15 years. Like you start working at Walmart. <laughs> no 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 no. <laughs> at 45, you know. <laughs> You don't oh want that, God. honestly. Yeah. If you yeah. had an opportunity to not, I'm not like shaming anybody that works there, but like if you had an opportunity to not work there, yeah, I'm pretty you sure still do. That's kind of, you know, there's a, just you know, just just get your life together, <laughs> okay? Yeah, just have your shit together. together. Don't find a man out of desperation. Just don't a oh, man. I think I think that's good. Yeah. I think I think we're preached enough. Okay. Yeah, we have. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and thanks to my friend Jay for joining no me. No problem. It's been a pleasure. I hope we didn't offend anybody too much. Even if you're offended, I don't know why you would be, but that's just me being kind of rude. Yeah. If you don't want to take the advice, don't take the advice. Just watch the video, cause like and, you know, and keep it moving. I keep it moving. <laughs> keep it pushing. Yeah. You know? And anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video I hope you guys enjoyed it and um, yeah like and subscribe I'm gonna have all her information down below and then yeah, follow me you know like we're out here trying to make some sh money so you know go shop her boutique get you some nice gym wear and um, yeah and I will see you guys in my next video bye <laughs> I feel like that was rude Man, this is like, this is so hard. I know. This is crazy, and you do this. YouTube wow. life is hard. One, two, three. Hi, guys! Welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you are new, oh my goodness. This is so hard! I lost it. Okay. <sighs> Breathe. <laughs> oh my goodness. Turn the heat down. Okay. This is so crazy. How do you keep a smile? Like, it's weird. Chicken zip, we're looking fine. You know. Yeah, can you just check? I've been looking fire. <laughs>